During the investigation of a high-profile case, a mysterious container ship was seen departing from a port in South Korea for the Russian port of Nakodka. But in the middle of its journey, this ship vanished from the radar. If you feel that the ship met with an accident or a mishap, it is not so. It turned out to be high-level smuggling case, and this ship was deliberately vanished from the radar. Welcome to another intriguing video from The Golden Mindset. Many countries, including America, have imposed sanctions on North Korea, because of which countries around the world cannot trade with North Korea. It is believed that these sanctions have been imposed because of the nuclear weapon program. However, in reality, the real reason behind these sanctions is the tough and rigid nature of the dictator of North Korea. Our very own Kim Jong-un Kim Jong-un might be called the president of North Korea, but he lives his life like an emperor. From Swiss watches to private yachts, there is no luxury item that he does not possess. Kim Jong-un enjoys all these luxurious things despite not being allowed to import from any country due to the imposed sanctions. Yet he still owns a black Rolls Royce, a Maybach S62, and a Maybach S600 Pullman Guard. These cars are no ordinary luxury cars. Along with bullet and bomb proofing, they are equipped with all types of luxuries that should be present in the president's car. The question then arises, despite the sanctions imposed by the United Nations, how does North Korea import all these items? And which countries sell cars to North Korea despite the imposed sanctions? In a report from UN experts and the investigative agency Center for Advanced Defense Studies, it was found that North Korea utilizes extremely strong smuggling networks. If we talk about Mercedes Maybach, it is manufactured in Germany. When the company was asked why they sold the cars to North Korea, despite the sanctions, they stated that they had no record of those cars. The managers of Mercedes were unable to understand how their top-of-the-line luxury cars had reached North Korea. An investigation into the matter went on for many years. Finally, one day, the secret was uncovered. The journey of the cars started from Rotterdam in the Netherlands. It was checked in the records that both cars reached the port in individual sealed containers. These two containers were loaded and dispatched on a cargo ship on the 20th of June 2018. The ship belonged to Costco Shipping Corporation of China. It completed its journey in 41 days and reached the Dalian port of China. The sealed containers were unloaded at the port, where they were kept for some time. After 26 days of being offloaded, on the 26th of August 2018, these containers were loaded onto another ship and sent to the Osaka port of Japan. From Osaka, the containers were reloaded onto another vessel and sent to Busan port in South Korea. Everything was clear up to this point, and there were no disturbances or problems. However, problems arose when these containers were reloaded onto another ship named DN 5505 in Busan. On October 1st, the DN 5505 ship departed with the two containers for the Nakodka port of Russia. This journey was scheduled for five days, but on the second day in the middle of the route, the ship vanished from the radar. According to records, the ship was visible on the radar again after 18 days, but this time it was returning from Russia to South Korea, and this time there were no containers on it, but instead, 2,500 tons of coal was loaded onto it. Where did the containers go? And what happened to the ship after it vanished from the radar? The ship officers had mentioned in South Korea customs records that they had unloaded the containers in Russia and loaded coal to return to South Korea. However, there was no entry of DN 5505 mentioned in the records of the Russian port. According to the Russian port, this ship never reached there. Investigators became suspicious of foul play here. The original name of DN 5505 was Xiang Jin, which was owned by a Hong Kong-based company. When these containers were on the way from Rotterdam to China, the ownership of the ship was transferred to Doyang Shipping Company at the last moment. This company renamed the ship to DN 5505. After investigations, it was revealed that the owner of Duyang Shipping Corporation was a Russian businessman. Although the company was registered in the Marshall Islands, it was seen flying the flag of the West African country of Togo. Actually, this whole story was deliberately made confusing so that the investigators could never reach the bottom of it. However, luck was on their side as investigators found another clue. 
On the day DN 5505 was supposed to reach Russia, three days later, on the 7th of October, three Ilyushin 76 aircraft from North Korea landed in the city of Vladivostok in Russia. These aircraft are used by the North Korean military when they have to transport heavy cargo. No one had a record of what was loaded and dispatched from Russia in these aircraft. There was another coincidence. The Russian businessman who suddenly bought the shipping company of DN 5505 was also a resident of Vladivostok. Now, it was becoming clear that the Mercedes cars had traveled around the world to be airshipped to North Korea from Russia. However, there was obviously no evidence regarding this.